I'm Rhonda Buss and I'm going to walk you through the process of making the Soaholic Robson coat. I found this pattern to be absolutely sensational. I loved it from start to finish. It's just a great trench coat. Very, very traditional, but you can see that I made it in a very non-traditional fabric. Um, I really like this fabric. It's actually a um, home deck fabric, one that I'd had for quite a while, but had never found a use for. And when this project came up, I thought this is the perfect project for it. Um, the coat really lends itself to lots and lots of possibilities, anything from denim to home deck. I've even started another project that I can show you, which is also a very untraditional trench coat. This is actually a lace, kind of a, almost a spider web lace over a metallic fabric. This coat will be perfect for an evening out. Um, so over a nice little cocktail dress. So the pattern really has lots and lots of possibilities to it. If you do decide to use a non-traditional fabric like this one, you could maybe initially look at it and think, well, hmm, I don't, I don't know what I would put with it. Be adventurous when you're looking for your fabrics. I found this great piece of, it's actually a silk. It's just lovely and the colors work very, very well together. The patterns are absolutely nothing alike. There are, I think, some roses and leaves in this, but it's just such a pretty piece. And for a blouse underneath this coat, I think it'll be absolutely lovely. And it just has such a soft, soft look to it. Very, very nice. Um, and then maybe even a, just a matching skirt underneath the jacket. The jacket itself, like I said, it's a very traditional, trench coat. Um, one of the things that you need to keep in mind is that the inside is completely finished with bound seams. Um, you can either buy the traditional bias tape from the, your local fabric store. And if you do, the pattern calls for 12 yards of bias tape. So that would mean you'd need four packages of the bias tape in order to finish this jacket. But one of the things that I like so much about it is that it's just as lovely on the inside as it is on the outside. Um, another aspect that was very, very thought, well thought out is there is a piece of the seam binding that is attached to the pocket and then it's attached to the seam, the front seam where the facing is sewn to the front. So it holds the pocket in just beautifully. There are tabs on the sleeves, uplets on the shoulders, nice rounded collar. Another thing to keep in mind with the jacket is there are 16 buttons, so it does take quite a few buttons. Um, so when you're shopping for buttons, keep that in mind. Um, it, they can get a little bit expensive, but in the end, I think it's an investment that's well worth it. It's got great pockets. Um, and in the back is the vent, belt loops with the belt. All in all, I think it's just a fabulous pattern and one I think you'll really enjoy making. Next up, we'll talk about the princess line seams, binding the seams, and doing the top stitching. <laughs> 